Hi everyone, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. So let us discuss about additions fraction of fraction. So in this video we are going to discuss and see about the comparison of fractions such as addition of like fractions, subtraction of like fractions, addition of unlike fractions and the final one as subtraction of unlike fractions. Let's move on to the thing. So if you see about the first and foremost thing is all about addition of like fractions. Before we get into the logistics of example problems, we shall discuss and analyze what this addition of like fractions is all about. In simple, we can say the addition of numerators. The addition of numerators. So if you see over here in this example, 1 divided by 3 is given and 2 divided by 3 is given. Along with that, we have another term as the third one that is 4 divided by 3. So the numerator is nothing but 1, 2 and 4 over here. So the addition of the numerators of the fractions to get the numerator of the resultant fraction is the first and foremost point which we need to understand. If we see about the next point, we got to use the common denominator of the like fractions as the denominator of the resultant fraction. So if you check out over here in the same example, we got the denominator as 3, 3 and 3 again. So like fractions are nothing but it will be having the same denominator. So for this example, it is actually having the denominator as 3. Since the denominator is common, we can simply add the numerator part. So by adding up 1 plus 2 plus 3, you can find here. So 1 plus 2 plus, it's not 3, it's 4. So 1 plus 2 plus 4 divided by the fraction 3. On adding, we will be getting 7 divided by 3. So this is one such example for addition of like fractions. We'll move on to the next example. So here we have 2 divided by 7 plus 5 divided by 7 plus 11 divided by 7. Since we have the common denominator 7, 7 and 7, so it's considered to be the like fraction. We can simply add the numerator part that is 2 plus 5 plus 11. So 2 plus 5 plus 11 on adding we'll be getting an answer of 18 as a numerator. Since these terms having the common like fraction as 7 we can mention the denominator as 7. We'll move on to the next We'll move on to the next question. So if you see about this one, this is the concept of the subtraction. In terms of the subtraction of like fractions, we need to understand the first and foremost logic. We need to subtract the numerators of the fractions. So this is the fraction and this is the numerator. 4 and 1 are considered to be the numerator of the resultant fraction. So. If you see over this one, we need to use the common denominator of the like fractions as the denominator of the resultant fraction. In order to have the comparison, you can find this one. We have 4 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 3. Since we have the denominator common, we can simply mention the denominator as 3. In order to subtract, we need to consider the numerator that is 4 and 1. So 4 minus 1 which gives 3. So the numerator is 3 and the denominator is 3 again. On cancelling we will be getting the value of 1.
We got the next example. So the question is 7 divided by 6 minus 2 divided by 6. So on subtracting by considering the denominator as 6, we will be getting the answer of the numerator that is 7 and 2. So 7 minus 2 which is equals to 5. So the answer is 5 divided by 6. Now we shall discuss about the unlike fraction addition. Since we got some idea of how the like fraction addition is all about. So now it's time for us to look out the concept of addition of unlike fractions. So unlike fractions are nothing but if you see 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 since the denominator portion 2 and 3 is not similar right. So this is the main point which you need to understand about the unlike fractions. Before calculating and proceeding with the calculation of the addition of unlike fractions, we need to understand that in order to find the equivalent fractions, so these two are the equivalent fractions which we need to be having an unlike fraction in the denominator. So we got to find the equivalent fractions of the given unlike fractions with the same denominator. We got to simply add the numerator of the fractions to get the numerator of the resultant fraction. Let us discuss about it now. Since the question is 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 3, in order to make the denominator common, we need to find the LCM. Since we have the denominator as 2 and 3, the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. So if we consider the first portion 1 divided by 2, we should understand how to make the denominator that is the LCM 6 for the fraction. By multiplying the denominator that is the 2 into 3, we will be getting the LCM value of 6. So, with the same value, we should multiply the numerator portion. So, 1 divided by 2 is the equation, which is the first portion. So, the 1 divided by 2, which has to be multiplied with the term 3 in the numerator and denominator part. The reason for multiplying 3 is that, since we have the denominator portion, 2 into 3 which yields a value of 6. So in order to make the fraction that is the denominator equal, we are multiplying the term 3 in both the numerator and denominator. In a similar way, we need to multiply with the term 1 divided by 3 that is over here. So as, as we discussed before, since we have 6 as the LCM, in order to yield the multiplication part 6, it has to be multiplied by 2 in the denominator. So 3 into 2 is 6. So the same 2 is again multiplied with the numerator portion of 1. So by doing this, we got the denominator portion as 6 for both the terms. So 1 into 3 is 3 and 1 into 2 is 2. Since we have been equated the common denominator, the value is 6. Now we got the common denominator 6. So we can simply add the numerator portions 3 and 2. By adding 3 plus 2, we will be getting a value of 5 and this Denominator is repeated again. Hope you understood how this addition of unlike fraction is all about. We shall discuss this with some other examples. We have the question 
2 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 2. Since the denominator portion is not same, we need to find the LCM of 3 and 2. So the LCM value is 6. With the same way as discussed earlier, by equating the denominator term, we need to multiply 2 in both the terms. In the same way, we need to multiply 3 with the second term. Once after that, we will be getting a value of 4 and 3. So this 4 is nothing but the multiplication of 2 and 2 and this 3 is nothing but the multiplication of 1 into 3. Since we have the value 6 on both the sides, of the denominator we can simply equate so on adding 3 plus 4 which gives a value of 7 and we have the denominator 6 so this is the logic which lies between the addition of unlike fractions Now it's time for us to discuss about the subtraction of unlike fractions. Hope you remember how the unlike fraction is all about in terms of subtraction. So in terms of the subtraction, we need to find the equivalent fractions of the given unlike fractions with the same denominator. After that we got to proceed by subtracting the numerators of the fractions to get the numerator of the resultant fraction. Let us discuss about it now. So the question which we got over here is 1 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 3. As we know, in terms of unlike fractions, we need to equate the denominator first. So we have find out the LCM of 2 and 3 that is 6. In order to make the denominator as the equivalent value of 6, we must multiply 3 in order to get the denominator portion as 6. So 2 which is multiplied by 3 will get the value of 6. Similarly, in terms of the second term, since we have 3, by multiplying the, third, the 3 with 2, we will be getting a value of 6. So we have multiplied 2. The same way we have multiplied 3 in the first term and 2 in the second term. On multiplying we will be getting an answer of 1 into 3 as 3, 1 into 2 as 2. Since we have been equated to get the denominator 6 which will be quite common. As of now the denominator is same. So we can simply mention the denominator and 3 minus 2 is nothing but 1. So the answer is 1 divided by 6. Here is a simple logic. Since the term, that is the first term is 5 divided by 7 and the second term is 2 divided by 9. In order to equate, we know very well that the denominator term is 7 and 9. So we can simply multiply these two denominators first. On multiplying 7 into 9, we will be getting an answer of 63 which is the LCM value. So the first and foremost thing which we need to do is that 63 which is the value of the multiplication of 7 into 9. For the next step, we need to understand that The denominator term, that is the second term, is 2 divided by 9. We have the denominator as 9. We need to multiply the denominator with the numerator, that is 9 into 5. Since we have the symbol subtraction over here, we need to mention it off. After that, we need to multiply the denominator of the first term that is 7 into 2 
So seven into two. On multiplying nine into five, it's forty-five. Four into two, it's fourteen. And with the same denominator, sixty-three. So we get a value of forty-five minus fourteen as thirty-one. With the denominator, sixty-three. Hope you got an idea of the addition of fraction and subtraction. Thank you for watching from GTEC.